see my trouble is Christmas. I just don't understand it. Instead of feeling happy, I feel sort of let down. I know how you feel about all this Christmas business, getting depressed and all that. It happens to me every year. Y'all just seen me and my husband put up the SpongeBob. So we put up the SpongeBob, and I don't know what happened. I don't know if it seems like the motor, the fan, isn't blowing enough air to keep it sitting up. As you guys can tell, the SpongeBob kept falling over. So, like I said, this is the first time us ever setting it up. But I'm about to show you guys. We decided to go on and put it up against the house. So I'm about to show you guys the SpongeBob up against the house. Here he goes. Hey YouTube family, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello my name is Ashley, this is my lifestyle, and this is our five days of vlogmas, okay? So what you guys just saw in the first clip of the video was me and my husband actually putting up the um, Spongebob as I was explaining to you guys in my first day of vlogmas, but if you guys did not see the first day of vlogmas, I will be including those links in the description below of vlogmas day one two and three if you guys are new to my channel okay and please do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell to get all the notifications on when i upload period y'all so like i was saying with that the spongebob just would not stay up i don't know why i wouldn't stay up my husband was thinking that it probably had a small little hole in it because like i said we have never put it up so we just tried to put it up yesterday and it did not work out so we ended up just tying um, putting little strings on it and then just plugging it into uh, the ground not plugging it into the ground but sticking a little metal things into the ground so it can stay but yeah y'all epic fail I just did not know that it wasn't gonna work and I actually did order another adapter just for that to happen okay y'all it's just been it's just been crazy it's just been a crazy week so far it's just been really really busy with me editing videos putting out all these vlogs and um yeah so as you guys can see today i'm going to be talking about my favorite christmas movies of all time you guys for for those of you that do not know we actually are um of the muslim religion i know some muslims do celebrate christmas but we do not celebrate the idea of santa claus we don't celebrate the idea of just non-realistic things okay so our children do not um believe in santa claus they know that we're santa claus not to burst nobody's bubbles or nothing like that okay not to burst nobody's bubbles but i did want to let that be known for all of those that actually love me and support me i do want to let you guys know that we did convert our religion just a few years ago so we're still getting the swing of things that's why we actually didn't have an actual christmas tree i am going to be putting up my christmas tree and you guys will be um helping me decorate with that later on in my last day of vlogmas so stay tuned for that 
All right, y'all. So let's go on and jump into these, let's go on and jump into this video. I'm actually going to be talking about my favorite Christmas movies, like I said, and I am also going to be sipping on some hot chocolate. So, all right. So I actually wrote my movies down because they were on my phone, and I'm currently only working with one phone right now. So I would have had it saved on my phone, but I don't have my phone right now. So yeah. Um. The first movie, oh, before I actually get into the video, I actually want to let you guys know these movies are really uh, family oriented, kids based, and there aren't any like scary, because there is a scary Christmas movie um, called Krampus, but um, we're only going to be talking about the cheerful, good movies, the ones that actually keep you in good spirits. Because you do have some sad holiday movies, so we're not going to be talking about those. I'm going to be talking about my favorite Christmas movies and the ones that I actually think are best for other families and kids to watch also, okay? So, the first one I have on the list is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Now, this movie um, is, is an old classic. This movie is an old classic and um, I just love this movie because... Growing up, my mom would put on these classic movies, these classic Christmas movies and things like that. And this right here is an animated series, so kids can watch it. You can watch it um, with your family. It's just a good movie period to watch. And this movie right here was really about, um, what was his name? Kris Kringle. It was about Kris Kringle and how Kris Kringle... Um, got the name Santa Claus and how he became uh, Santa Claus basically just how he became Santa Claus and um, how these people actually started the elves and stuff like that started helping him make toys and things like that and so it shows you an uh, animated version of the process of how Santa Claus became Santa Claus so it's actually really really good and um, I think the children will really really like it so go on and try to watch that movie if you can find it like I said it is pretty old but you can find it if you have a fire stick and things like that. So you can watch that movie if you do have the fire stick. Next movie I want to discuss is Jingle All The Way. Now I know a lot of you guys probably already have watched this movie. Um, if your kids have not watched this movie yet, please get them to watch this movie. Your kids will love this movie. It is one of my favorites. Arnold Schwarzenegger has played in this movie. And it was about him and his son. And... It was, I think, the day before Christmas, y'all. <laughs> he actually went out and got his son this toy. He was actually in search of this toy for his son. So what I loved about this movie was the inspiration, just trying to find this toy for his son the day before Christmas. He actually went through obstacles. He went through adventures. He went through all different kind of crap and trouble just to get this toy for his son, y'all. And I actually just loved this movie. It was just really funny, too. <laughs> so... It was really, really funny, so please, if you can watch that movie, watch that movie too. It's good uh, for the kids to watch and as a family. All right, the next one on my list is, of course, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. I think everybody has watched that movie. Everybody and their grandma has watched this movie. Um, and it is in the animated version, and it also is in, um, I think it's Disney. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pixar, Disney, I'm not sure, but, oh no, it's Dr. Seuss. I am so sorry. <laughs> it is Dr. Seuss, um, How to Grinch Stole Christmas. So it is the animated version of How to Grinch Stole Christmas and the version that Jim Carrey played the big role of the Grinch. So in both of these um, movies, I actually did like the cartoon edited version and the realistic version, which Jim Carrey played in. And I actually really, really liked both of them because... They just kept you in the holiday spirits, especially when you went to Whoville. I loved Whoville, y'all. I just thought the movie was really, really good overall, period. I just thought it was a really, really good movie, very cheerful movie. Um, I just loved how the Grinch ended up, you know, the Grinch ended up um, getting together with the Who's at the end of the day. And they all just ended up, you know, celebrating Christmas together because the Grinch, of course, had a hard time you know, growing up, and he actually liked Christmas, and then he didn't like Christmas because of, 
you know, the stuff that actually happened to him growing up. So he actually grew a cold heart, but the Whoville, um, Whoville ended up warming his heart back up again. So I actually really did like that movie. And um, all of these movies I actually like for different reasons. All right, so if you guys can, please watch The Grinch Stole Christmas. If you have not yet, please watch it with your kids too. Of course, another classic I want to add to this list is Home Alone. Home Alone 1, 2, and 3 all were really, really good. And of course, it was about this kid. He, um, the first one was about him, uh, this little kid, Macaulay Culkin. And he played Kevin. His name was Kevin. And Kevin, <laughs> Kevin was just one of those children that just seemed to not fit in with his whole family at the time of Christmas. And he just was not mean eye to eye with any of the siblings. And he just didn't want to be there. He actually wished that his family would disappear. The next day, his family disappeared for real. And then throughout the movie, the mom did realize that you know, she left her son at home alone and throughout the movie you'll see the son actually, uh, shall I say, struggling with these burglars and things like that, trying to get into their house while his family was gone. I'm not trying to give you guys too much detail on these movies because I don't really want to tell the movie, tell the movie, but you get the drift. Alright, so Home Alone, of course, is another classic, and a lot of these movies were in the 90s. Frosty, um, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and all of those, I think those were a little bit older than the 90s, but um, Home Alone is a must-watch, of course. I think mostly everybody has watched that, but all of these movies are good movies to watch during the holidays. Alright, the next movie is This Christmas. I, of course, love This Christmas because I, for one, am a Chris Brown fan. I was so obsessed with Chris Brown at that time when this movie came out, even before the movie came out. So, I actually loved This Christmas. I haven't watched This Christmas in a long time, though, to be honest. But I might just watch it before Christmas, okay? So, This Christmas was actually a good movie and it was actually about the family coming together. And when the family came together for a good cause, they, um, shall I say, released baggage upon one another. You know, secrets were revealed and all different kind of stuff was going on. It was like a fight. It was kind of like Soul Food, but it was more of a Christmas spirited movie. So this Christmas was one of the ones I actually absolutely loved and I think I am going to watch it again this holiday. So if you can... Please watch this Christmas, and this is more of a family-oriented movie. Alright, next on the list is Frosty the Snowman. Now, Frosty the Snowman, of course, is another classic. Like I said, I think I do have an old spirit at heart. I just like a lot of old stuff. I do not really watch a lot of black and white movies, so I will tell you that. <laughs> Your girl does not really watch a lot of black and white movies. I feel like it doesn't have... Color gives more, color gives it more of a flavor to the movie. So I don't watch black and white movies, but I do like a lot of old classical movies um, and classical animated shows, if you understand what I'm saying. So Frosty the Snowman actually came alive um, with these kids playing with him and they actually built him up into somebody and they made him a character and then they actually put this magical hat on his head and then he came alive. And the kids just loved him so, so, so much. I'm not going to give you much detail, but this magician actually ended up coming after Frosty, trying to take the hat. And um, because the magician, I don't think the magician had magic, if I remember correctly, but the magician was like a fake magician. He didn't really have real magic. And then he found out that Frosty actually came alive through this magic hat. He actually had to get that hat back. So I don't think that he actually knew that the hat was magic. I'm not sure. I can't really remember, but... Don't hold me to that, but Frosty the Snowman is an original and it is a must watch, period. Okay, you guys, so the next one is Mickey's Christmas Carol and I just love Mickey, period. Um, Mickey's Christmas Carol was just so heartwarming and so heartfelt to me and I actually cried on it every time I seen it, y'all. I cried on it. Call me a cry, baby. I don't care. But um, Mickey's Christmas Carol was really a must watch. 
and I just loved it for the kids. I had they haven't watched it yet this year, but they will be watching it. It is actually two days before Christmas, so we're actually excited. Um, and Mickey's Christmas Carol was actually really about Mickey and his family going through tough times, you know, um, and I can't really exactly remember exactly what happened because I haven't watched it in so long and I've been watching so many other movies since, since then, since I've actually watched that movie, but I highly recommend that movie for the kids. It is great for them to watch um, and just to know that, you know, you're going to have tough times and, you know, some families don't have it as lucky as they might have it and just be blessed you know with whatever you do have you know because um in that movie it was tiny tim tiny tim was um i want to say he had i don't know what he had but i want to say that he probably did have like cerebral palsy i think he had cerebral palsy because he was on crutches and things of that nature i think mickey ended up um mickey and his family ended up getting a whole lot of uh food and goods like that at the end of the movie I believe it was and then they did end up getting gifts and things like that to the kids so Mickey and his family was poor in this movie and it just was a great inspiration I actually just love this movie so 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 much it just makes me feel like you know anything is possible and there are good people in the world you know um despite how they may act to you you know they are there are good people in the world and even the meanest people do have a big heart you know so, um, this is a really, really good movie to show your children and just to show them the other aspects of life, the poor, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And to also let them know that there are also going to be, uh, sunny days, you know, there's not always going to be tough times. So, you know, even if your children may not have had everything for Christmas or even though the children may not think that they have everything for Christmas, they actually do have everything especially if they have their families together you know so please show this movie to your children i think it would really 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 be a good inspiration to them all right the next movie is the santa claus now the santa claus was a really really good movie also and um tim allen played in it and him and his son were actually home they they, they had a family and um, the dad actually went outside in the beginning of the movie. The dad went outside. He seen Santa on. He didn't know who it was at first. And then when the guy fell off the roof, he actually seen <laughs> that it was Santa Claus. And then he ended up taking his place. And his son actually ended up finding out a little bit later about it. And throughout these sequels, I can't remember how many sequels it was. I think it was two or three, but throughout the sequels, um, the son would go and visit him in, at the North Pole, and then he would tell all his friends, you know, hey, my dad's Santa Claus, and you know, nobody would really believe him, but, excuse me, keep in mind, he couldn't tell everybody that his dad was Santa Claus either, you know, especially now, imagine you telling uh, your friends and things like that that your dad was Santa Claus when you were growing up. That would not have sat well with no I'm sorry, y'all, uh, Amber Alert just went off on my phone. Um, and I pray to God that this little girl is okay. I'm guessing it is a little girl, but I'm praying to God that this little girl is okay. Um, and I just want to do a moment of silence real quick, real quick, real quick. I mean, mashallah, alhamdulillah. Alright, y'all, so, um... This is crazy, you guys. I just got an Amber Alert. I just can't believe I just got an Amber Alert. But, um, this is so crazy during the holidays right now. Um, somebody is actually possibly missing their child. You know, so I actually had to do a really, really quick prayer really quick because that could be anybody. That could be any one of us. I have four kids. You know, so that could be any one of us. Um, but I hope and pray that they actually do find this child that they're looking for. Also, sure, this was really, really a good movie. Um, and... I encourage you guys to watch all of these movies that I am mentioning. Uh, that I am mentioning, they are really, really good movies for the kids and for you yourself. If you want to watch it by yourself, also you can, and it is good family movies. There, these are good family. Movies. The next one on the list is Tim Burton's The Night, The Nightmare Before Christmas. 
Now, I know um, this really isn't, I'll say it's a Christmas movie, but it's kind of not a Christmas movie. It's a Halloween slash Christmas movie, if you get what I'm saying. Jack, he is more on the horror side, Halloween tale. He's really from Halloween Town or wherever he is from. And he's a skeleton, you guys. So he is supposed to feel... You know, like, he wants to scare somebody all the time. He's supposed to feel creepy. He's supposed to feel scary. He's supposed to feel all that stuff. But deep down inside, he really likes Christmas. So he ended up going over to the Christmas side, and it was just a back and forth little, little, um, it was just a back and forth between both worlds. And, um, I can't really tell you much about it, but it was a really, really good movie. And it is cartoon-based, so it is Tim Burton's. Um, the Nightmare Before Christmas, okay? I actually um, watched that one with the kids a few days ago. So we did watch that one. We did watch Santa Claus is Coming to Town. I actually watched that one last night with my youngest, my youngest two. Um, and then we did watch Home Alone. So Home Alone was actually one of the first movies that we did watch. And Frosty the Snowman, I don't think we watched that one yet. So we still have a few of these on the list to go of my favorite movies to watch before Christmas. I saved the best for last. And the last one is, drum roll please. All right, y'all, the last one is A Christmas Story. Now, you guys, this one is number one on my list because it is funny, it is cheerful, it is giving me holiday vibes, it is giving me all of the above. You guys, I just love this movie and we were gonna watch this movie the day before Christmas, I think. We were probably gonna watch it Christmas, early Christmas day or Christmas Eve, late Christmas Eve, so, um, I do want to say that a Christmas movie was just a, a all-around classic for everybody. I'm pretty sure a lot of people, even you, have probably watched A Christmas Story already with your family or even your kids. It just had a lot of stuff in it. It was just always something going on, even with, um, the movie Jingle All The Way. So, with the movie Jingle All The Way, it was just always something going on. And with Santa, not Santa Claus coming to camp, with A Christmas Story, it was about this little boy and his brother. And the boy, the main character, he wanted this long name of a rifle BB gun. <laughs> and he just went through hella hot water throughout the whole movie. Him and his brother, a lot of this stuff was just so hilarious. And a lot of this stuff you can actually relate to because... When you have, um, you know, when you have siblings and you have a family and things like that, you can actually relate to a lot of stuff that actually happened in the movie, you know. So it was really, really um, good, down to earth uh, Christmas movie, and I do encourage you guys to really, really watch a Christmas story. If you have not watched a Christmas story yet, please, please, please watch it. I promise you, you are going to love it. Okay. So that was the number one. That was my number one Christmas movie, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. And please be sure to watch um, these movies if you can with your children. If you're by yourself, please enjoy them on your own um, and on your own time when you get a chance to. I'm sorry, y'all. I also want to let you guys know to please leave your favorite Christmas movie of all times in the comments below if you do have one that you just have to watch every Christmas season, you guys. I love you guys so much. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas from my family to yours. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy all of the above. I love you guys and I will talk to you guys on the next video.